Hi there! If you're struggling to work out why your text in Word has big gaps between your paragraphs, let's see if I can give you a hand to sort this out. Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward, non-technical assistance to help you become a confident, super productive user of Microsoft Office. Now in this video, I'm going to run through why this may be happening to you in your document. I've helped so many people become super proficient users of Word, and I know that this one thing in Word has totally frustrated a lot of people. So I'll show you how to control spacing in just one document, and then I'll show you how to change the settings so that every new document you create will have the spacing set just how you want it. So if this tip helps you out, please dive into the comments below and let me know. Okay, so let's see if I can help you out with your paragraph spacing and uh, line spacing. So here we are in Word and I'm in a brand new uh, file or a new document. And this might be you, you might have just started a brand new file and found that as you started to enter information into it you got gaps <laughs> and that's not helpful so let's have a look at how we can work through this okay I'll just pop some information onto the screen to start off with so I'm just going to use a wee little trick that um, Microsoft have given us to help out what we can do here is just pop that little uh, function in hit enter and look at that it actually gives you three paragraphs with 12 uh, lines in it <laughs> so we can see that we've now got a decent amount of information in there and I didn't have to type it which is fabulous okay there we go you can see that between each one of our lines we've got spacing and between each one of our paragraphs we've got spacing as well so let's just go and have a look at what's going on so I'm just going to select both of these paragraphs here in fact I just want to show you a really quick way did you know you can actually just go out to the side here and drag down nice and quick and easy okay so we're going to make our way through to the paragraph dialog box now you can get to it very quickly just by clicking on the dialog box launcher here or if you've been doing it this way right hand mouse click and then making your way down to paragraph here same diff it's fine you can just easily get to it both ways right I'll just move this out of the way so we can see what's going on here we go, here is the um, setting that's controlling the spacing after each paragraph. You can see by default, Word is giving us a 10 point spacing after or between each paragraph. Every time you hit enter, that's what you're going to get. So we can set that back to zero. By the way, six point there with the settings that I've got at the moment would be about half a line. So I'm going to take it right back to no spacing between. Now over here, you can see the spacing between each line. So you can actually see why we've got that gap going on between each line. Now that is great if you're actually wanting to have spacing between your lines. You know, sometimes when you're editing, you want to just put little notes bet between it, but not great if you haven't got a clue what's going on and you are after single spacing. So selecting it back to single, now when we click onto OK, let's have a look at what happens. Look at that. So now you've actually got your single spacing again and you've got no spacing between paragraphs. Now sometimes you do actually want to have spacing between your paragraphs and of course you could whip back in there very quickly, maybe put a half a point or a, a, a sorry half a line or a full line and click on OK and look Excel will actually do the spacing for you. So sometimes that's absolutely fabulous and what you're wanting. Um, and by the way, you can also, if I just make my way to the layout tab, you can control it here as well. So if I just come down a little bit further down here and if I just actually just highlight over here you can see we've actually got two different settings in there hence the reason um, Microsoft Word's not showing us what's going on but I could actually take it down to zero spacing here or I could take it up as well and just control the spacing. Sadly not the line spacing but definitely the paragraph spacing if we needed to. So that, my friends, is how you can quickly reset your paragraph spacing and your line spacing. Now you're probably thinking, oh, well if I change that, will that change every document? No, it will just change the document that you're currently in. However, if you're finding that every time you start a new document, you're having to make your way up here and make these changes, you can also change your default setting down here. So what I would suggest you do is you actually make sure that you set your defaults how you want them to be. So I'll just select everything there. By the way, you can use a control A as well. So I'm just pressing control and A on the keyboard and that selects my whole document. Make my way back into the paragraph settings, set them how I want them to be, make that zero. 
and over here I want that to be single now down here I can go set as default now I'll just bring this over here so if we read this do you want to set the default alignment indentation and spacing of the paragraphs for this document only or all documents based on the normal template which means that every new document you create from this point forward will have those settings on it and of course you can go ahead and click on to OK I won't for mine I'm going to leave it um, but you could click on to OK and just know then that your settings are all predetermined by you instead of word <laughs> so I'm just going to cancel out of here now the other thing um, to just clarify for you as well is it will not go back and affect any documents that you've actually created prior to you changing those settings. It will only uh, be set up for any new document. So when you're going file new, so if you're actually going file new up here, you can also use control N for new um, to start a new document as well. And of course if we actually set those defaults, you're ready to go, you're good to go. So I hope that's helped. And you're now good as gold and you're actually working in a document that has the settings that you require. I really hope this has been helpful. So please let me know in the comments below if it fixed your problem. And if you use Word and want to stay connected, just hit that like button and please make sure that you subscribe because we're sharing new videos regularly. And if you know someone who would benefit from this, please be sure to share this video with them. Hey, thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.